The official rollout for One UI 5 is continuing strong and after four beta releases, Samsung's flagship foldable at the current time, the Galaxy Z Fold 4, is now finally getting the official OTA release of Samsung's version of Android 13. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube or Sam Mobile TV. Here's our top five favorite features of One UI 5 of Android 13 on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Let's dive straight in. As you can see from the software information section, the last four figures of the build number end with BVK3. The final Android 13 update still remains on the November security patch and access to Android 13 will be dependent on your region. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Let's start with customization. And this is all to do with what we showcase in depth on beta 3 with the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So we still highly recommend you take the time and you watch that video extensively, but we'll give you a quick breakdown in this section. With the lock screen, you can directly long press on the lock screen to enable the ability to start customizing your lock screen. From then, you have the option to change it to your liking. Starting from the top, the clock and date widget. You now have the option to pick between six font styles. You can then pick between five different clock and date styles directly from the lock screen as well. Next, you have 10 color options to select from the five solid and five gradients which can also affect the font. Right at the end to the far right, you have the option for full customization of the colors, which opens up swatches, a full color spectrum, and six color slots to save your custom colors option, as well as a hex, red, green, and blue input field to be exact with your color options. In the main color row to the far left, there is a toggle to automatically blend and match the font colors to the lock screen wallpaper in use. One thing to know is that the 10 color options between the five solid and gradient colors all change and adapt to the color of the wallpaper picture being used on the lock screen. With all that in mind, one app we do recommend is PDF Element from Wondershare. They're class leading all-in-one PDF editing and creation software. Wondershare PDF Element is an easy to use all-in-one application that lets you convert, make notes, edit, sign, and fill in PDF forms across mobile devices like your Galaxy Android phone or tablet, desktop on Windows, and the web. You've got powerful features like scanning documents and turning them into PDFs, merging PDF files together, extracting text data, and also password encryption to your PDF documents. PDF Elements Optical Character Recognition OCR feature is another powerful tool for scanning text in documents and converting them to editable PDF text. We highly recommend PDF Element from Wondershare, so check out the link in the description below of where you can get PDF Element for your compatible device. And thank you to Wondershare for supporting us on this video. If we now go into the wallpaper settings and options, you can see another major revamp in how the wallpapers are categorized visually between featured, gallery, graphical, colors, and wallpaper services, showing you previews of the wallpaper styles in large thumbnails which you can scroll through horizontally. The gallery section actually shows each visible album you have in your gallery with a four picture grid preview of each one. You can also access each wallpaper category by pressing on the title. If you then go back to the two new wallpaper category sections under graphical, there are four new wallpapers and under colors, there are nine new wallpapers with three gradients, three solid colors, and free with shapes in the design language. Let's now take a look at the home screen widgets. One UI 5 now builds on widgets as you are now able to create stack widgets of your favorite apps. With One UI 4.1, you were limited to just using smart widgets on a few apps like weather, time, calendar, and a stacked nature. But this time around with stack widgets, you can use widgets from different apps so long as the size of the widgets are the same. Once the stack widgets are created, you can swipe left and right to access them. You can then edit the behavior of the stack widgets by pressing and holding on the stack widgets, then select edit stack, which then shows the option to toggle or to rotate widgets to automatically show you the most relevant information. When within the edit stack, you have the option to remove widgets or add new widgets as well. The new smart suggestions widget gives you useful information based on your most used apps and services on your device. Let's move over to multitasking. As we saw in beta one with the Galaxy S22 Ultra, multitasking is more streamlined and easier to activate. Under the advanced features section, labs is now placed right at the top as the first option. Within labs, you now have an additional two multitasking options to toggle which are swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen. Excluding a multi-window or apps toggle, when you click the other three labs option, 
you can now see a visualization demo of the advanced labs feature and how it works when enabled. What's nice is that when using these features, you get a nice haptic feedback to indicate that it's working. Section number four is the camera and gallery. It's now much easier to zoom in and out with a 100 swipe when using a zoom bar, which has actually been condensed. When in pro mode for both photos and videos, there is now a small eye icon for information that gives you a nice and concise breakdown of what each lens does and what it's actually best used for. There is now a dedicated histogram for better and more accurate exposure measurements. Within the camera app settings, there is now an option to toggle on the watermark to be added to your pictures. Within the watermark setting, you have the option to add and change the model name, add the date and time, and with the option to change the alignment of the watermark in three different positions and change the font style as well. Single take mode has now been revamped with a more streamlined look with changes to the icon and less options for faster recording times, making it easier to capture great shots. Our fifth and final favorite feature is the photo and video editor. The photo editor now allows you to create stickers from any picture in your gallery. When you press edit and then the select tool, you can then pick part of the picture you want as a sticker and adjust the stroke outline thickness with the color of your choice. You can trim and adjust the ratio of animated GIFs to make them the right size. You can now also keep the ability to change the portrait mode effects when you make changes to the original image, like cropping and changing filters. You can now draw perfect shapes using a pen tool when editing. You can then draw shapes like a circle, triangle or heart shape. Hold your finger on the screen after finishing your drawing and the shape will instantly transform. Samsung's push for the completion of the final version of One UI 5, rolling out to all the key devices that support Android 13, is an ambitious one considering their large and extensive device library. But so far, this looks to be on course and also their best software update rollout yet. Do you have access to the final version of One UI 5 for the Z Fold 4? Let us know your thoughts and your experience in the comment section below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.